Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. This is part two of my series on 2024 Release Wave 2. Last week, I created a video on Dynamics 365 sales, and this episode is gonna give you all the features for Microsoft's Copilot for sales. Now, in case you're not familiar with Copilot for sales, this is actually an AI assistant that is designed to help sales teams maximize productivity and close more deals. Now, there's a whole bunch of updates for Copilot for sales, so let's jump right in there. Now, the first one, is the improved contact insights inside of Outlook. Sellers were already able to view recent emails and appointments and meetings in the recent communication tab in the side pane in Copilot for sales in Outlook, but this feature will provide sellers with more actions. Sellers will be able to do things like summarize an email or opening a recent email, opening a meeting, or see all of the emails and meetings directly from that communication tab in Copilot for sales. Now, it seems that the bulk of this feature lives in the Microsoft Teams app. According to the documentation, Copilot for Sales will keep track of objections that are raised during meetings, right, by your clients probably, providing them with insights into concerns while helping refine sales strategies. So it will also provide real-time suggestions like context-specific responses and counter arguments as these objections arise during the meeting, right? So knowledge-based integration will be used by Copilot for Sales to support these responses with relevant examples. And then on top of that, Copilot will provide personalized coaching tips to sellers based on their past performance and their common objectives encountered, which will help them improve their objection handling skills. Now, another feature that lives in Microsoft Teams is the ability to update Dynamics 365 or Salesforce, right, your CRM system, directly from the post meeting insights page and to connect the Teams meeting to Dynamics 365 or Salesforce from the meeting summary. Sellers will also be able to get suggestions to update specific columns in Dynamics 365 or Salesforce records. So I suspect this will depend on the things that were said during the meeting, right? For example, if your client is saying that they have a budget of $100,000, you're probably gonna get uh, a suggested action that says, hey, maybe you wanna update that budget amount in your CRM system. Now, part of this feature is also the ability to create new records in Dynamics 365 or Salesforce, right, from within that meeting summary page. Now, the ability to create meeting follow-up emails from a meeting summary gives sellers a proactive reminder to send post-meeting emails to their prospects and customers, which allows them to really be on the ball and be more productive. Now, the ability to create opportunities from a meeting, from a sales meeting summary, allows sellers to quickly create new opportunities, again, directly from that meeting summary. But this, the nice thing here is that they don't have to switch back and forth between their CRM systems. Again, this is all gonna be available from within that meeting summary. So columns like account, contact, close date, et cetera, all of those will automatically be populated based on obviously the data that is in that meeting summary. Now, the way that this functionality is explained in the release notes is that sales managers can upload a playbook document, at least I'm assuming it's gonna be a document, for sellers that they can actually use during their meetings. I'm not sure, uh, again, if this is a document or something else, I'm just guessing it's something like a document. I know for a fact it is not the playbook table, right, that we had previously, because that, that's gone, that's no longer uh, available. So the way it works is that Copilot for Sales will monitor how well the sellers will adhere to the playbook by keeping track of the things that were discussed. And then in, in some point in time, I don't know exactly when, because the documentation wasn't clear on this, but at some point in time, the seller will receive feedback on things that they missed and things that they did well uh, when it relates to following that playbook. Very interesting to, uh, to kind of see what that will actually look like. Now to access the Copilot dashboard, 
admins will need to use Viva Insights because this is actually where that report lives. Now there's an out of the box Power BI report provided, but if you need to, you can actually also build your own dashboard. Now I don't believe there's a Viva Insights license that you need to access the dashboard. Uh, at least today, that's not something that is required. Let's just hope that it stays that way. And then the OneNote experiences, it kind of sounds like there's gonna be deeper integrations between Dynamics V65 sales and Salesforce and OneNote. And then right again, we're talking about Copilot for sales. Now the summary and save notes into CRM directly from OneNote feature, I guess it's kind of explanatory, self-explanatory, right? It's gonna use Copilot uh, in OneNote to summarize those seller's notes. And then once you have those summarizations, those can be then saved as a note in your CRM system. So again, you won't have to leave OneNote. All of that can be done from that OneNote application. So I hope you enjoy all the new features that I just uh, discussed. So if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you will never miss another video again. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.